and following with that two active crime scenes now. The first was where that car was stolen from the Plainfield gas station with a six month old baby girl in the back in her car seat. Good news. The child has been found safe in Indianapolis. The suspect we're told now still in the wind here. The car, the truck found in Indianapolis. IMPD is investigating right now. We've got Alexa uh, at the Plainfield station where this all started. Uh, take us through it again, Alexa. Good morning to you, Ray and Ange. As you mentioned, two separate crime scenes, one of them here in Plainfield, the other though, and Blue, Blue La Avenue, excuse me, in Indianapolis. That's where police found that white Chevy, the six year old baby safe inside that vehicle. But we're told now the suspect is at large. Police telling us right now that they are searching for a white male. In the meantime, you could see right here at that BP gas station, they are continuing to investigate. Here's what we know about about what exactly went down here around 620 this morning a father pulled up here at that BP gas station at one of the pumps tried to pay using Apple Pay but it didn't work so instead he went inside this convenience store here just for a moment to pay with his baby inside the vehicle unlocked when he returned he found his white Chevy Silverado gone and within really 30 minutes to an hour, police and detectives were here on the scene. And uh, many of us also received that Amber Alert as well for that missing six month old. Then it was just minutes later, we heard cheers from actually some of the investigators here. That baby found safe in that car in Indianapolis, but police still searching for that male suspect. I asked the deputy on scene what goes through his mind anytime a child is stolen. Take a listen. It's one of the, the, the scariest moments you can have in, in this profession uh, as a missing child, um, especially when it's in a stolen vehicle and the suspect may not even know that there's a, a, a child in the backseat of the vehicle. Um, so it, it's the most important thing is getting the information out to the public uh, and getting an Amber Alert going and uh, making sure that everyone that can have eyes out there to try to find this vehicle. And right now we do have crews on Indy's southwest side. Again, Beulah Avenue, that's where IMPD is searching for that male suspect. Again, the six-month-old baby found safe in that Chevy, but police say their investigation is really just starting. IMPD is now involved here at the BP, though. This investigation is wrapping up, and right now we're just asking police uh, what information they have about this suspect. Did he mean to take the vehicle with this baby inside? A lot of questions still that police will need to answer, but Ray and Ange, good news, uh, at least here, this baby found safe and sound. Wow. Yeah, you just so caught me saying, no, go back. I, Alex, I want to jump in because you don't know this, but we are on live pictures right now of the truck, but I want our photographer, I'm not sure who it is, I apologize, um, who was out there this morning. Sean, if you can go back to um, showing the family reuniting with the baby, um, obviously not showing the face, the backs of them, unless they've turned around, but um, we did just have a shot of the family reuniting with the little baby girl there um, with firefighters. There's the white truck again left there in Indianapolis this morning. Ray, jump in here um, if you want. Yeah, the good news is the baby looked really okay. The, the, the police officer cradling the child in her arms, actually bottle feeding the little baby girl again, just six months old. She is uh, apparently okay. But again, the suspect is gone this morning here. Uh, we've been asking questions about uh, the, the technology there at the, uh, the get-go BP in Plainfield. There are, as you know, cameras uh, lined up at, at most businesses today, and we were waiting to see if they maybe got uh, an image of the face of the suspect. Uh, but when we got word from Alexa that uh, Avon police were in touch with IMPD and uh, had spotted the truck and the baby was okay inside, we managed to get to that location. And that is where we are now live on the southwest yeah. side of Indianapolis. And one thing that um, just from, you know, looking here at the scene when we were pushed in a little bit, our photographer can't hear us right now, so he doesn't know kind of that we're on the air with him just getting here some video. But it appeared and just from my perspective guessing here, that it was the mother holding the child in sweatpants and, and a shirt. Um, could have been anybody at that point, but again, it believed to be mom holding the baby. That's my guess, and it looked like family um, around her, perhaps. We're seeing the uh, tow truck there, too, likely going to move that truck out of here, um, again, so they can brush it for fingerprints and that sort of thing, too. So, All right. so good news there, and uh, we'll get more 
uh, if we can get one more update from Alexa before the end of this broadcast here. But we'll also round it up for you at fox59.com with more pictures and more details. And then again, later this afternoon, first at 4.